The ability to simplify means to eliminate the unnecessary so that the necessary may speak. Hans Hoffman and friends, that is what we have worked so hard for so long and continue to try to hone down. If I find another method, adding another indicator, taking away an, indi an indicator, whatever is necessary to make my charts better and more efficient, I will do it. I want to keep it simple so that the decision making process under that principle called Occam's Razor, we have a video on that. In fact, that video is going to be at the end of this video today about Occam's Razor. Great training for you. Check it out. And of course, we have a special video for all of our subscribers. You subscribe for free at chartingwealth.com. Go there, sign up. You'll get a special training each and every day. This is an additional one at the end of today's video. Now let's jump into these charts. Everything's down for the day, but Bitcoin, what is setting up here? Let's look at the S&P 500. I've changed the color on our ceiling, our horizontal, um, what do we call that? It's called a ray, yes, horizontal ray. I used to just use a horizontal line, but I don't like it going back necessarily when it doesn't connect to anything. So I went ahead and started using red. It used to be purple. It's, I guess it's chartreuse now. I wanted it to be easier to see, depending on your screen, from the blue line. That purple and blue, they got a little close to looking the same, depending on the light you're in. So I've separated it uh, quite well here now. Now, look at where we are with the S&P. We had the last two weeks, and of course last week we had average volume. This could, our, this could be our interim high. If this week's candle turns into a red spinning top and we have average or above average volume, it could be a rotation over. Now, could it keep going higher? It could. Is it likely to do that? Well, it's an election year. Anything is possible and the party in charge and their friends want to do everything to keep the market looking good. So we'll keep an eye on things. Look at these three dojis. First day of the latest three-day candle, but look at them. Tons of indecision, and you can see how they are, in fact, they themselves are trending down a little bit. You can see the half-day chart we had the bump up on Friday, but now it's rotated again back below the weekly trend line. So let's keep an eye on it this week. We may be going short before too long. Let's look at where we are on the Qs. The Qs again. We had that prior high back on the week beginning the 19th of August. We have bumped up on it with candlesticks the last two weeks. The wicks have gone higher. We are now below it. We've also penetrated the weekly trend line. We have again, uh, I would call that a spinning top back on the Tuesday, Wednesday, the 1st and 2nd of October. Then we had another little spinning top, this time a doji forming, and again we're just below the ceiling, the chartreuse ceiling that we see. We had seen the volume continue to accelerate up. Don't know if we're going to get to average volume tomorrow or not, but we are paying close attention. May go to a red spinning top by the end of the week. That, of course, would be a short signal for us, so we will keep a close eye on that. The NASDAQ 100 down 1.07% for the day. What about bonds? Well, they are pulling back again. Of course, we've been short on bonds. Wasn't a perfect setup. We had this average volume where things bumped up on the last green candle. Then we had a red down candle last week, of course, accelerating volume. This week, moving down further. So doing okay on the short here. How do you short TLT? Well, if you know how to practice trade Puts, you can do that, but of course, what else can you too do? Tango, Bravo, Foxtrot. Single short, this is what we do to practice when bonds go down. We get in the inverse. Now again, something for you to truly practice trade. Inverse funds are not for everybody. There are complications with them. We have a great trading on inverse funds. I don't have anywhere to attach it to, to, to today, but look it up. Inverse funds, how to make money when markets crash. That is the training. You'll find it all over the internet. Popular training we've done. Gives you a better idea as to what they're about. And you're only going to learn about them by doing what? Practice trading them. And of course, you look at how inexpensive it is. 
you could buy four shares. And again, if you lose 20%, it's 20 bucks. But whatever you do, don't use large amounts of real money until you know what you're doing. And only you will know that. And that will be after you have trained for a sufficient period of time. You have done all that you need to do in your own due diligence. We are not a stock calling service. We're an education firm. We want you to practice trade with us. So again, we are short 20-year U.S. government bonds on our practice trades. What's up with gold? Well, look at gold. We're finally starting to see some red here as the two-day chart starts to rotate below the weekly trend line. The weekly trend line also on the candle itself. It is a green candle so far, down 0.34% for the day. You can see where gold has been meandering since, what, a big up day on Tuesday. I don't know how big an up day it was. It was an up day on Tuesday, the 1st of October. And then it's slowly just been devolving since then. So keep your eye on gold, too. Stocks go down. Gold may follow it in a plunge. What about Bitcoin? Well, Bitcoin, after one, two, three, four, you know, we're talking starting on Monday, the 30th of September, all the way through Thursday, the 3rd of October, Bitcoin just hammered down. Now for the last two days, popping up. We can see where it popped up big in the morning on Monday, pulled back a little bit in the afternoon, 1.71%. As Bitcoin moves up, green two-day candle forming, first day of the latest two-day candle. And we tried redrawing the trend line here. Not much of a trend line to do much to help you, but we'll see what Bitcoin does. That is where we are as we end the day on Monday, go into Tuesday. Looks like it's going to be an exciting week as we move up toward the election and into the fall winter trading zone my favorite time of year. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.